Hello, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how I make this fun fall themed flip book. Now, the first thing you're seeing is me unpacking my box of fall goodies. Last year, before the move, I packed all of my fall themed supplies into this crafted year box. And I'm now just going through it to see basically if I can find some inspiration for what I want to make today. And that journal you see there, I received last year from Dina. Uh, it's a beautiful fall themed junk journal and I <laughs> like to go through it for inspiration as well. So last year in sale, I purchased a few of those six by six fall themed paper pads. I know one of them is from Cartabella, the other one I'm not sure, and then this one in the middle I received from Becca in that box filled with goodies. And then the final, like the, the odd shaped paper pad is from Action and I'm just using that as a cover. So when I started this mail, like always, I had no idea what I wanted to make. I was thinking of doing a flipbook because I haven't done one of those videos in a while. Hi, I just realized the video cut off a little bit. Is weird, but what I did is pretty self-explanatory. I just, um, I trimmed the papers down to form large pockets and then I used my paper, like my circle punch, to punch a little hole out of the middle so that you can more easily cut the goodies out. And then I also um, got one more 6x6 paper and I taped that down in the middle with some washi tape there's logs on the washi tape. You cannot really see that on the video, but it's a really pretty log washi tape that I also received from Becca. And I use that to type basically a middle page into the flip book. And then that cat you keep seeing is Sage, of course, my little kitty. Um, she loves rummaging through things like that box with fall goodies. That's like her favorite thing she loves to go through it and take out washi types the other day sage i'm not even kidding sage actually took out a washi type so after a little while i thought okay it's enough i'm gonna put it back i couldn't find it anymore it turns out she actually put the washi tape back into the box herself oh <laughs> like she actually cleaned up after herself which cat does that it's going a little bit fast, but I, I received those wooden, uh, it's called a wood veneer, I'm pretty sure, uh, from, um, what are they called again, Deers? And I loved the look of it, but I wanted to make it stand out a little bit more. So I actually used my Distress Oxide to color the wood veneer orange. And I'm now also distressing the edges of the booklet because like the background paper is still white because I, I put the pockets on top of it, but I did want to make it look a little bit more decorated by using that. Um, distress oxide i only have one fall color which is orange i think it's called is it called spice normalade i'm pretty sure i will link it down below if, so if you want to check that out um it's the only fall themed color i have but i love using it just to give a little bit extra attention extra something extra special to the pages and yes sage keeps putting her bum on all of my stuff while you're watching me decorate this flip book, I think it's actually time for a little uh, bit of a story. I've, I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while, although I probably have. But this weekend was actually my last day at the cat cafe. I know some of you might already know this because of my Instagram or because I've said it in a previous video, but I actually found a new job. Um, I now work as a waitress in a much larger restaurant where we also do dinner shifts and I get the question a lot, why do you quit working in the cat cafe and at first I just wanted a second job, like I wanted to continue working in the cat cafe but I was ready for something bigger, you know, the cat cafe is really safe, really kind of calm, kind of quiet, which was good for me for very long. And yeah, I'm now coloring in the next wood veneer with watercolors. That's my palette from Arteza. It actually worked really well, I did not expect that. But like for a year, it was really good for me to work in kind of a safe environment, but I've grown a lot and I still have so much anxiety, which I tell you in videos as well. I still struggle daily. 
but the safety it got a little bit boring which is actually a really really good sign because it shows that I've grown a lot like a year ago this was already so scary and so stressful for me and now I felt ready for a change which is a really really big thing um, so that's why I decided to look for a different job and the big difference is that I also work with a large team now which is actually a lot of fun I have a lot of co-workers um, we hang out after work and I don't know that's just something I also missed at the cat cafe because I always worked with my boss which was fine and it was fun as well but I I don't have a lot of friends in Breda I mean my, my friends all live in different towns and now to actually work with people my age again and to work with like a lot of different people it's just good for me like I feel like I'm kind of uh, perking up is that the right way to say it like I'm it makes me happy as well so that's the one big thing that I really like about my new job that I have a lot of fun co-workers and the other thing is the job itself um, it's a very large restaurant actually which scared me at first and it still does scare me sometimes because it's just a lot more hectic than the cat cafe which the cat cafe only has 10 tables and they're rarely full like usually it's just five tables max and then the new place i don't know how many tables it has i'm guessing 50 or something and then there's also the terrace outside i don't actually know how big it is but it's just a lot more busy and crowded and that kind of makes me feel alive as well because i fell in love with waitressing um like a lot of that's also something people ask me a lot like what do you like about waitressing so much because a lot of people look down on waitressing they think it's like you know like um a shitty job which I totally get it can be a really shitty job but if you have the right circumstances it can be such a thrill as well like you're working with a team and when it's super hectic it can get really stressful but then when you manage to do everything it gives such a rush it's almost like an adrenaline kick I really like that and I have that now at my job again which I mean, it's, it's scary and it's tiring, but it also gives a lot of energy. And I just never really had that in the cat cafe because it was a lot more quiet, which, like I said, was totally fine for me when I wasn't doing so well, but I felt like I've outgrown that. And that's a really big step for me. I've said this a couple of times already, but um, it makes sense as well. Like I said, a year ago, I was, I was doing a lot worse and it makes sense to have grown i mean it would have been weird if i did not move forward during a year so there's that and then in the beginning i was hoping to combine both jobs because i did not want to um <laughs> i don't know if you realize but sage is on my lap again you can see her little feet <laughs> her little nose and <laughs> there she is i wanted to i was planning on combining the two so both the cat cafe and the new job but then that didn't really work out because one of the reasons is that i also work at night in the restaurant i mean it is a restaurant not like a club or anything but sometimes we would work until one or later and then if i had to work again in the cat cafe the next morning that just wasn't a great match so that's one of the reasons and also um i just realized I just liked it more at my new job. I'm gonna be very honest. All the things I mentioned, getting energy from work again, I just, I missed that at the Cat Cafe. So I, I decided to fully focus on the new job, the restaurant job. And I am not sad, actually. It was weird to have my last day on Saturday, but I felt like it was okay as well. It was the end of an era, <laughs> as they say and i was ready to move on i mean it is a little bit sad and i'm definitely gonna miss the cats but i can still visit them which is good <laughs> so that's a pretty big life update i mean it it has been in the works for two two and a half nearly three months now i've already been at the new job for nearly three months which is kind of crazy realizing how fast that has gone oh no she just yawned 
aren't you cute? I know it's only sages in the videos these days, but Nose is still here as well, and I love her very much. She just doesn't like being in the same room with Sage. <laughs> I'm giving her a lot of kisses here. Gijs always tries to tell me that cats don't like kisses, but I'm fairly certain they do. <laughs> Oh, Nus is meowing now. I think she wants food. I love how cats are able to tell us exactly what they want. Right, Nus? No. But yeah, um, without wanting to sound too dramatic, the change of quitting a job and going like full time to another job, that has just done a lot to me. Like, I've had a lot of anxiety. I've told you guys this. And I've, um, I think, or I hope that now that I've sort of cut ties with one job, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm not in a fight with my boss or anything, but now that I've kind of finished one thing, I can fully focus on the next thing. Nus, can you stop meowing? I'm doing a voiceover. Excuse you. <laughs> um, now, what I'm trying to say is that I think focusing on two things at once was too much for me. And now that I'm able to focus on just one job I think I will start sort of healing faster I mean new things and change it's always going to be difficult for me but um, I think it's going to be better for me to just focus on this one job and not try to juggle two jobs I think that was just too much for me and I always compare myself to others like other people work full time i should work full time other people work five or six days i only work three days and that is bad but of course i am not other people i need to look at what i can do and not what other people can do because how is that going to help me in any way i'm only going to make it very difficult for myself trying to uh behave like other people behave Oh, Nus, um, out of protest for not getting food, Nus is now uh, doing the dishes. Excuse you, lady. Okay, I'm just gonna feed my cat. <laughs> okay, um, it really feels like one of those voiceovers or one of those videos from back in the day when Nus would always interrupt my videos or scratch the door. Remember in the old apartment, she would always scratch the door when she wanted to go out onto the balcony? Goodness. Oh, the memories. Um, but yeah, this story is all over the place now, but I just wanted to give you guys a little life update because um, it can be scary. Like sometimes people tell me, Vivian, I wish uh, I was as open as you. I want to be as open as you are about mental health and not feeling great. Um, but it's not, it's not like super easy for me either. I'm gonna be honest, it can be scary to share your story online, especially because not everyone understands not everyone thinks anxiety is a real thing but it really is trust me <laughs> um but it also uh brings a lot of good things like when i tell people i have anxiety i know that there's at least one person out there who is helped by that like i know that I know a lot of people probably do not care, might even mute me, but I also know that there are people out there who I can help by sharing my story and that actually means a lot to me. Because we are not alone in this story, that's also what I'm always saying. But that's basically my life update, a little bit of an anxiety update um, as well. Uh, like I said, I am working three days a week now. Um, and I'm keeping it that way because I also told that's another big thing I'm very proud of myself <laughs> I told my boss at the new job that I have anxiety and that I do want to work more hours I just want to um, do it slowly because I don't want to, to feel bad <laughs> and he's totally okay with that which is very good he even told some supervisors at my work that I have anxiety and that I sometimes or that I have fear of failure he didn't tell them I have anxiety he just told them I have fear of failure like I would be okay with them knowing about my anxiety it's just like saying I have fear of failure is easier for a lot of people to understand so he told some of the supervisors at work that I have a uh, fear of failure and they were super nice about it basically the general response was what why and a lot of people have been a lot of people have since told me that they really like working with me because i'm 
uh, very good at my job, which is of course nice. It's always good to hear. And it's just for me, I don't, it's not like I want to use anxiety as an excuse. I don't want any different treatment. It's just nice to know that they know so that if I ever have a bad day and if I ever need help, I can more easily say, hey, could you please give me a hand? Because um, the team I work in is always willing to help. That's really, really good. We always help each other out. When someone is more busy than someone else, we always try and um, carry the workload together, which is very nice. Um, but I can be... I can feel like I have to do everything on my own, like I want to prove myself, I want to show everyone that I'm a good waitress and I will sometimes try and carry all of the workload by myself and then sometimes the kitchen staff also tells me, Vivian, you know you don't have to do it alone, right? <laughs> Which kind of says a lot if the kitchen staff says that to you, but um, I think this will make it easier for me to say, hey, could you help me? Because they also know why I might say that. So that's a very big life update. I'm actually, I don't know, it feels really good to tell you guys also because I'm I'm proud of myself. Like I'm proud of choosing for me and choosing for, I don't know, something bigger because I, I, I like things to stay the way they are. I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of people my age are all about wanderlust and they wanna travel the world. I'm I'm not interested. I wanna stay home with my cats. I like to eat the same pizza time after time. I have like two or three pizzas that I really like and I will eat them all the time. I'm not going to, like my boyfriend always says, don't you want to try a new flavor? No, I do not because I like, <laughs> I like the ones I like. I'm not that adventurous and I am starting to be okay with that. But this new job has been something very adventurous for me. Like it has been something very big and I'm excited to say that it has also been good for me. So maybe I should try a different pizza. I don't know. <laughs> this story got very random, but the pizza is just to illustrate how I like things too be the same. A lot of people kind of fear the... how do you call that in English? I don't actually know. In Dutch we call it slur, slur, which basically means that you get stuck in the same pattern. You go to work, you come home, you eat, you watch TV and you sleep. This is my boyfriend showing me something. I think it's a cat video. <laughs> in case you wonder where the third hand came from, but um, like people complain about that same same routine day in day out i actually like that routine as long as i like my job i will probably be happy working eating sleeping and doing some videos in between <laughs> so that's my story i'm now really going to shut up about it i made that little envelope and i'm filling it with dis different die cuts some of them i die cut myself some of them are these pre-printed die cuts and some i received from others such as a cute little typewriter um and i also made in the right pocket you could see that i made kind of like a clear bag filled with different goodies mainly those vintage looking tags they're not actually vintage they're from aliexpress but they look so pretty and they like you could fool me that they're vintage and they're really really fun for decorating i also used them on the first page of the flipbook so i'm now going to flip you through the video the video <coughs> the project one more time um, there you can see those vintage tags I also used I wrote my letter on that La Papier paper which is fall themed absolutely love that I will link the video for that down below as well by the way then I have a little collage <laughs> I have a little uh, page with an envelope and then on the right we have another pocket with that goodie bag. I also included some washi tape samples and some of those craft paper tags. Wow, I talked a lot again, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Uh, don't forget to give it a, this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Of course, uh, leave me a comment down below if you want. Tell me, do you like trying new pizzas or do you also always pick the same flavor? Tell me I'm not the only one. <laughs> um, and I will see you again very soon. I hope you guys are doing okay. Are you enjoying the fall weather? 
I know I am. I don't like the cold. I do like the changing colors. Okay, that's it from me for now. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it here. Bye-bye.